Alrighty. The uh, Habitia thing, the 45TP. Firstly, a confession. I started playing this tank and I thought, yeah, it's good. I thought it was a med. I thought, oh, shit, it's in the Polish heavy line. It's obviously not a med. But for all of that, the, the reason I made the mistake is that I, I started playing it and I just thought that this tank really does fucking move. It, it's fun. It is by no means, may I add, I think, the strongest heavy in 7. I mean, T29 or the Black Prince and like that, I think, much stronger. But this tank is fun. It's a little YOLO wagon and I played it a fair bit today in ratings. I, I think I showed the results and you can see I've, I've lost some games. But that's because I'm shit and, and honest about it. You know, I'll show you a screen full of victories. The thing about it was though, I had great fun and mostly look the uh, standard AFK there, the, the low here. Um, but mostly I did exactly what I'm doing here, um, which is just to push it down the medium line with the meds. And I was kind of speed testing it against things like chimeras and it pretty much keeps up. Um, obviously it won't keep up for light tank, but it pretty much pushes quite nicely. Deceptively so, so when I'm kind of going downhill and getting 40, 43 kilometers per hour out of it, which, which isn't a lot, but it feels deceptively faster than that. I put this game on um, because it, it pretty much shows what the tank can do. It also shows the limitations and the issues with it. So, like I said, mobility is bloody great. Get out there, yellow it down medium flanks. I, I wouldn't play heavy lines, go find Black Princes and T29s and IS-5s and ratings and stuff like that. I, I would, really wouldn't match up with them. I, I'd, I'd do what I'm doing. That's just my opinion. I mean, people probably say, well, it's got eight degrees to gun depression, so uh, sit on a ridge and fire calibrated shells at people and uh, you'll be fine. And I mean, I just don't play like that. So I kind of like things that are mobile, and this is mobile. And you can see the gun depression is reasonable. And it's about eight degrees, so you can ridge fight in it. And the turret should be just apples if you're sitting on a ridge but it isn't and there's there's a lot of catches with this tank the gun by the way is pretty damn glorious compared to a lot of the frustrating guns you get on heavy tanks I like the dispersion I like the accuracy I think I'm playing with the lane drive and stuff to increase the accuracy on the gun but it's really good and it hits shots the downside of it is that actually it doesn't pen much, it, the, the penetration really isn't that great on the gun if you look at it in class and you will see I got penned by a T28 there and look where it hit me, can you see the turret? That turret, that little coupler on the top gets absolutely obliterated by people who know what they're doing and that's even if you look at where I was there attempting to use the ridge, it's a good player I'm playing against but the, 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 the pen me no trouble at all through that, that top patch, which is annoying. And if I was in a T29 or something there, I'd, I'd just be fucking laughing at that situation. But as it is, I get penned really, really easily. And, and that's quite frustrating when you find a good position and you, you are using the gun depression on it. And it just, that just happens time after time. So that, that can get to you. What I do like though is this. Um, now I'm not gonna bounce many shots. The Rev's got really good, uh, really, really good penetration on it. But what I am going to do is out DPM it, and this is why I'm running this tank with a rammer and not calibrate shells because I love the fact that DPM's nice. And I'd rather have that and brawl mediums and lights and have fun playing the tank than, than truck around with calibrated. And at the end, Lady Sanchez um, shoots me, I shoot Lady Sanchez. Fair enough, fair trade. I got the best player out. I'm probably not the best player on my team, but you know, fair trade. <laughs> and you can see um, the tank at the end. I'll try and scroll around in a bit. Um, I've been penned through that top annoying coppola and through that top bit of armour. That front plate is very, very flat. And again, everything goes through that. So I think it's a balanced tank. I like it a lot. It's fun. It really is fun. I mean, 
I'd get it in the garage. I'd rather drive around in this than a Black Prince and a T29 any day of the week because it's just not boring. You can have fun with it, you can YOLO it, you can use a DPM on it. It can move around, you can screw up meds and light. I like it. I, I, I really like this town. I'm gonna play it a lot. I'm, I'm having fun with it. Um, so I'd say get it in the garage. It's not gonna rock all before it and then it's good, everyone's gonna be disappointed because it's not super OP and I haven't watched the other reviews on the tank. I don't think it's super OP by any means, but I think it's balanced and it's great. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. See ya. Bye.